Macht er die Begrüßung heute? Macht äh, Jean macht die. Kannst du auch sagen? Alle. Ja, you're not the host. I'm, I'm, I'm Jean Smith. Und dann natürlich, I'm Jean Smith from Damascus. You, you are. You, you're okay. <lacht> Goedemorgen, um, uh, welkom bij Wine Limit. Um, ik is Jan Smit van Damascene in Mooie Mieke. Um, en uh, ik zie net dat jullie vijf minuten samen met ons spenderen om die, die, die wijnen te proeven. Zo, so, wer jetzt noch drauf geblieben is, liebe Freunde, schön, dass ihr dabei seid. Neben mir sitzt Jean Smit van Damascene, der hat heute mal ganz kurz auf. Naja, der hat die Sprache, ist war nicht holländisch. Hat sich so angehört wie holländisch? Nein, der Mann ist aus Südafrika natürlich, aus Elgen. Damascene Wines und wir haben, wie ihr seht, gerade hier ordentlich verkostet. Eine unfassbare Range. Niagara Trinkfluss, Kaufbefehl schon vor der Sendung erteilt. Ohne, wir machen heute nicht Sonnenklar TV, aber Leute, das müsst ihr probiert haben. I am absolutely thrilled. Did you understand what I was saying? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's the problem. You see, we can't understand you, but you can understand us. <lacht> hey, so, thanks for reaching out. Und bleibt dran, Leute, wir machen das natürlich jetzt auf Englisch, nicht auf Afrikaans weiter. Uh, Damascene, you're in Elgin yep. and you're Jean Smith. Yes, uh, so um, during my time at Buchanan's Kloof, uh, which was uh, close to a decade, I always had that dream of, of showcasing um, South Africa um, in one range of wine. So for me, that was always going to be Damascene, and Damascene is just basically when you have that epiphany that, that changes all your preconceived ideas of, um, of what is possible within a range, uh, with, with a variety within a, a region as well. Mm -hmm. So um, what you have on the table is for me really a snapshot of South Africa um, and just how diverse and exciting the, the country is. And I think you can see it with a lot of other producers as well, um, but for me this is just being concise in one range. Um, and then the, the, the first one that you've got in your glass there is, is actually a very special one with the new winery that we built uh, in, uh, during COVID when everyone was uh, sitting at home, we, we built the cellar. Um, and uh, it's the first one that actually started fermenting everything within the, in the winery. Um, so it's, it's a block that's across the road from uh, Ibn Saudi. You, you probably heard of the name of mm. Ibn Saudi. And Fa it's, it's right famous across, guy in South Africa. Right across uh, the road from him um, on a farm uh, called uh, Langkloof. Um, and also we get from um, Adi Badenost, um, Jakosfontein. This was planted in 1979. So the entire winery is completely spontaneous um, because we've never had any old, old material in the in the winery so it's uh, it's really a special wine that started everything yeah, you, but I mean it's, it sounds like you just started making wine but you've come a long way at yes, 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 you've yes. been a winemaker for some famous places yeah, uh, well, yeah well, I worked with Adi for uh, for three years and then mm. uh, did my stints with uh, Dumol uh, for two years in um, Russian River um, down with the hills and, and with Stefan Oji in, in Katruti and then uh, my decade with, with, with Bukunats Kloof. Uh, but you need to, you need to take a, a page out of everyone's book, uh, good and bad, um, if, you, if you want to start this. Yeah. And you need to start with plastic tanks, you need to start with stainless steel and then work your way up to something that you, you always envisioned to showcase the, the brand. Chenin Blanc, for many years, in, I think in, in, in South African regards, I think it was not, was not clear where was the direction. One, one people were aiming for a French style, yeah. some people were aiming for, let's say, UK supermarket style, so uh, let's say a little bit of a quaffing style. Yeah. That was a bit sad because you had this great old material and you could make great wines out yeah. of it, but it seems like nobody was interested. Then some people like, I think Ken Forrester was one of the first yeah. no, to, really, to really focus. And now it's such a dynamic thing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah so, so, what's so special about South so, Africa? So, 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 for instance, I mean, it's obviously the wi most widely planted um, variety in the in the country when it comes to whites, and it's uh, so. Uh, we only doing old wine uh, material. So for for all our whites, uh, we also do a, um, a semi in this range that was planted in 1942, 1962. But it's it's what we're doing specifically with this is focusing on vineyards that's right on top of a ridge, mm -hmm. uh, facing the ocean um, if it's coming from Stellenbosch, and with these being always on top of a mountain or a ridge uh, to get that constant airflow. So what it's not about any primary food. You'll see there's a lot more kind of salinity, saltiness um, that you get in the wines. And that's for me what makes it exciting. This is all on granite, um, so obviously because of that you get a lot more tension on, on the on the palate. And it's this is all done in only foudre, uh, so a thousand liters. We don't go through any mallow, so this is something that we do completely different to <laughs> to to the other guys. Is we don't we we go through um, a spontaneous fermentation, but then we close the cooling and don't go through any mallow just to keep that that hard acid. Um, let's taste. Let's taste, man. This is this is. 
an awesome nose. I, I, I did taste before, but the, the nose is just great. It's, it's very pure. You get, you get like that, let's say apple-y, but not like that ripe red apple. It's more like a green apple. There is a tightness to this wine in this nose. And then salinity is something more for the palate, but there is a stony frame to this wine, I yeah. think. And this is like, and this is not interfered by any oak or any, like Shannon can get quite exuberant. This is more like like you, very <laughs> slim, very straight, with yeah. a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, the, um, so it's it's for us very key to just spend time on on the lease as well. So it's yeah. uh, it's got that like you like you just explained, but it's there's just so many layers coming from from the lease itself. It's not being battery. It's just about getting layers uh, to come forward. So it's just you just your mouth just keeps on salivating. This is better than brushing tooth. <laughs> well, no, because it really like. Ooh, we should we make it in tubes, maybe? <laughs> and, and maybe you can sell even more from that because here. How many but there we have the toothpaste ads, and that's two thousand two hundred fifty-five <laughs> bottles. Yeah, uh, and it's gonna. That's, that's it's like a big get, party at Bry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna get much more than that as well because okay. we have special blocks that we're working with. But it's yeah. <laughs> it's really that there is a vibration to this. I mean, it's really like yeah. my tongue goes and it starts moving up and down yeah. and licking. And and then the what do you say Speichel? What is it? Uh, Speichel yeah. of English? Your, your uh, saliva? Is it what? What is the name? Uh, my my translation was saliva, but I could be completely saliva, wrong. Saliva, maybe, maybe maybe what what is the, the the liquid inside your mouth? Yeah, saliva. Yeah, saliva. Okay, yeah, why didn't you say it before? <laughs> Oh, but, but wow, it, it constantly keeps flowing, flowing, flowing. Yeah, yeah. We call it Niagara, Niagara trend. And that's why one. Uh, and and you should almost that should start even when you're smelling it. It should you should start yeah. salivating. So, um, but yeah, it's a it's it's something that for me is just showcasing. I mean, uh, I've said it to you before. Um, uh, a wine maker back home always described this wine as as like bow and arrow. So it's just like just before you let the bow go, that kind of tension that you get on. Uh, on the on the um, on the bow. So that's Sommelier's watch out. This is a description, <laughs> and that's not mine. Uh, oh, it was another oh, wine maker that oh, brought oh. that out for me from this wine. Yeah, but it, it's it's but it, this has tension. This wine, and I mean, this has freshness. Obviously, a food wine, but well, if you want to drink it by yourself, you can, as it has some aperitif qualities yeah. to it. So just yeah. something like which gets you going instead of a glass of. And the the, the beauty about this is uh, twelve point seven eight uh, alcohol. So it's uh, you would always think uh, this is not possible in South Africa that you can get that that level of um, of alcohol um, being ripe as well. And that's that's what we want to focus on with this entire range. Wow, I'm very happy with this wine. To be on, I mean, not not like because. Of course, everybody knows blah, 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 blah. that you can buy the wine here from us. But no, but 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 yeah, uh, no. this is like uh, what I what I like about it is you're playing really on the tip of a sword or of the of a damascene. Oh, that's probably yeah. what's what's the name. Yeah, well, that's where they went up to Damascus for steel. So there for we go. For steel, yes. <laughs> All the Japanese. <laughs> Great. And so. and one thing is a texture. Yeah. There is a medium texture to the wine. Uh, so it's not like that heavy, cloying uh, sometimes yeah. texture, which you can get off Shannon as well. Of yeah. course, in a sweet style, even more. Here it's ooh, really toned down and wow. And then this as playing with acidity, but still there's a good weight to this wine. Yeah. And, and, and once again, it's about working with no sulfur during the entire maturation and fermentation. And then Different mouthfeel. Yeah. yeah, that's what you get. Wow, okay. Shannon can't get any better. I mean, there's other great examples from yep. France and, of course, from South Africa, where you have, I think, double the size of hectares of what they have in France. But that doesn't mean, like, just because you have more, you're better. But, uh, it, 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 wow, this mm. is stunning. There's, that's about South Africa. That's in the front. I mean, there's amazing guys out there, like Chris Arlott, like Eben, um, that's doing amazing work. So uh, it's, it's just about cele celebrating the collective more than, uh, than anything else. Okay. So, Kaufbefehl erteilt. And now we're going to go for a wine which we haven't presented the last time you were over here. We yeah, it's sadly, a, it's sadly, it was a pino. It was, uh, it was not. Uh, oh, it's a boy! No, it's a girl! <laughs> no, it's a pino! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Jam that German, hum happened. German humor at its best, you know. <laughs> Nobody understands us why, you know, basically we have humor, we just don't show it. <laughs> Moya Mika. It dries the tannins on this one. It's, uh, no, so, so Moya Mika, is, she's the, the mother of the family. Um, 
So David, David, that's my business partner. His mother-in-law, late mother-in-law, was was from South Africa in the 50s, and mm -hmm. it's really just um, it's just in memory of what she's done to the community itself. But what the wine is is all about is um, it's cold climate. So the entire valley is just surrounded by four mountain ranges. So it's just constantly cloud covered um, and that's where we grow apples in the country so uh, you can just imagine obviously with uh, with apples it needs to be extremely cold so this is really showcasing and encapsulating uh, cold climate uh, pinot so would you uh, say cold or cool climate because uh, to me no. cold climate is like let's it's, say it's not as germany yeah. in the north in the yeah, winter yeah, yeah. or is it more cool let's say coolish it's, it's cool and it's it's uh, it it's, uh, doesn't it doesn't peak because it's so close to the ocean yeah. as well um, but we don't we're not right where yemel and Arda is but i think it takes away that um, also, extreme uh, um, influence that you get from the coast with a, a lot of um, botrytis um, scares as well. So, not take, taking any, anything away from that, but this is not trying to be savory at all. It's just about capturing that. That you'll see, there's a lot of uh, sour cherry and, and mm -hmm. just perfume. Uh, perfume is always. I mean, if you open this tank when it starts fermenting, it's just boom, roses in, in your mm -hmm. face, um, and that's that's all the way through to to the glass. To me, this is like a battle rose, really. I mean, you get that yeah. very floral, like you were saying, perfume, reddish fruit, red currant, whatsoever, rhubarb. Um, what I like about this, it's, it's, it's light and lifted, and it's a big debate about if wine can have umami or not. Mm. But this is for umami style food, at least. So umami, that kind of lacquer. What do you say in South Africa? Lacquer? Lacquer. Lacquer, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is for lacquer food, like when you have Parmesan, Parmesan, yep. for example, or you have something with soy sauce. And I can yep. imagine that, uh, let's say, certain kind of cuisines match really, really good with yep. this. Spare ribs, maybe. Tomato, where you have, let's say, tomato marinating and things yeah. like this all umami rich food yeah. and like, like you're saying i mean uh, for us one of the biggest markets in the world is japan and it oh. completely ties up with with what you're saying yeah. there uh, so what is also very interesting with uh, with our reds and in, in in the entire range with the reds is we don't pump a single berry so everything is done with satellite tanks where we tip it into the tanks itself and it's only liquid that we move so it's whole berry ferments and that really just mm. gives you that mouthfeel it's just uh, there's tannin all over but it's just so so soaked up with with fruit that you have um, I, i'd like to match it with german currywurst do we should know? do that this afternoon. No, yeah, this pop. Yeah, well, it's very hot outside. Maybe we wait for and when when the sun is a bit, let's say, away. But um, currywurst also you have. Well, you have this great borovost in South Africa. Yeah. But, but currywurst. But that's more co co coriander. Yeah. yeah. You have more coriander. Yes. But this is more like let's say you have a tomato sauce and some curry, some spices. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So we again with the umami style. Hmm. Wonderful. Very light and lifted. Great. Shall we do another one? Just because, I mean, okay. Pull them in. Oh, come on, we do one. <laughs> we do one more because one wine I thought like was amazing. Well, but they're all amazing. This is, what, what about the Syrah? Yeah, you have a Swartland so yeah, so, so, Syrah. Swartland Syrah. So this is something that um, yeah. for me is very Most important. Leute, noch dran hier. Wir gucken noch mal ein bisschen. Jetzt wird hier geguckt. I think uh, with both the, the, the Shannon and the, and the um, uh, Syrah that's coming from the Swartland, for, for me it's really something I think that, that shows respect. Um, uh, a lot of my mentors um, are out there, like Ibn and, and Adi, and it's, it's something that I always uh, wanted to do it, uh, coming from the Swatland, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to step on toes and get um, involved in politics. So, And also didn't want to um, be second best uh, when it comes to vineyards. So in COVID, a lot of people stepped back um, uh, with volumes that they did, so we could actually uh, get into a lot of those amazing so vineyards. So you had and access to vineyards all of a sudden. And now we, yeah. we're also planting on that, on that same site. Um, so so Swatland, more to the north, warmer climate, very vast, uh, yeah. huge area, not only dedicated to uh, wine, yeah. and, also and the, to wheat. The, 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 the beautiful thing is if you're standing in this vineyard, the, you can't see a single uh, vineyard around you. Uh, it's just wheatlands that's, that's completely surrounded. Okay. And the nice thing about this is it's facing uh, east. So it doesn't get that uh, afternoon sun that's obviously it, it can be uh, very hot in yeah. the Swatland. So this yeah. is the east facing, so you get morning sun. Um, and that's for me the beauty of this. I mean, this is uh, again uh, 12, 12 and a bit alcohol. Uh, in the swat on itself and it's it's ripe um, in style so for me it's, it's just showcasing a lot more earthiness but you need to see the broadness on the palate which is showcasing swat on these i have to say your the place where you are in for syrah swatland and south africa on a glance it can produce some of the best syrah in the world yeah. syrah, yeah. i'm not talking about shiraz that syrah that basically the role model is 
yeah. the the Rhone Valley, where you get that fleshy tapenade style. Mm. Sometimes you mentioned Blutwurst. Yes. Yeah, yeah blood yeah. sausage kind yeah. of style, yeah. but but this kind of an earthy damp. Uh, well, yeah. not damp. Damp sounds, but, but let's say. Um, Soubois um, from the earth coming yeah, exactly. flavors. Wow. Yeah. And the, the big thing about this is just capturing it. So this is only going into 2,000 liter vats, conical vats that we um, get from so no, um, no Austria. Oak, so no oak makeup. Yeah. Not at all. So that spice that you get there is about 70% whole cluster that we do. And for the part that's on shale, we do submerge cap with this. So we don't do any pump overs or punch down. Just, it's just infusion, keeping it down for the three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I, I should not spit in this wine, by the way. Wow. This is so great. It's so fresh. It's so vibrant. It's so pure. Um, and it just needs just to be a killer it. at that price point. And that's, that's really what it's about. Okay. That was a quick catch up with Jean Smith from Smith. Sorry, Smith, not Smith. 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 Yeah. That's South Africa. From Damascene. Hey guys, I really recommend try these wines. That's the next level. That's a different level. Next or different level. All of us. Uh, that's one, one thing is for sure. These wines or these wines are brilliant gaps and very little in quantity so that's an uh, important thing so that leaves just, more for us just, just grab for the others <laughs> grab them thanks for coming out great <laughs> oh, for reaching out bye thank Con you tschüss <laughs> gesagt haben die verstanden ich glaube der tschüss gesagt ciao macht's gut next time next time bis auf only all day. these ones also make happy <laughs> should after the second that's why we make it it's not to make people oh, sad yeah. <laughs> sehr schön morgens um 10 Uhr getrunken so frühstücksfein ist immer meins i didn't get that there was a breakfast <laughs> <laughs>